So let's dive into one of the most innovative blockchain architectures in existence today, Solana. In this session, we'll explore how Solana combines two powerful concepts, proof of stake and proof of history, to build a high speed, low latency, and incredibly efficient blockchain network. Whether you're new to Solana or brushing up on your knowledge, this breakdown will give you clarity on why these mechanisms matter and how they work together. But before we continue, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, I would really appreciate it. If you want me to make another video, please drop it in the comments. Now, the role of proof of stake in Solana. First, let's talk about Solana's foundation. Now, the obvious question is, how does Solana pull this off? And more importantly, what makes it fundamentally different from Bitcoin or Ethereum? Let's break it down. Bitcoin relies on something called proof of work. In simple terms, it's a system where miners around the world compete by solving complex mathematical puzzles. Ethereum recently upgraded from proof of work to proof of stake, where validators are chosen based on how much Ethereum they lock up or stake on the network. While proof of stake is far more energy efficient and significantly faster than proof of work, it still has scaling limitations, especially when traffic spikes. In a traditional proof of stake system, validators are selected based on how much of the network's native token they are staking. The more a validator stakes, the higher their chance of being chosen to produce the next block. Now, Solana adopts this core principle, but with some serious upgrades to improve performance. Here's where Solana flips the entire conversation. Solana didn't just adopt proof of stake. It layered something called proof of history on top. Proof of history is a revolutionary idea. Instead of wasting time constantly asking every node in the network what happened and when, Solana timestamps every transaction before it even enters the validation process. This cryptographic clock creates a verifiable sequence of events, drastically reducing the communication overhead across the network. Now, all of this raises a question. How do we ensure validators take turns fairly and on time? What's to stop a malicious validator from trying to jump the line like kids in elementary school? He has no teacher there, so who will stop somebody from jumping the line? What if somebody wants to censor a transaction or rewrite history? Now, there is where Solana's secret weapon come in, proof of history, or POH. Proof of history isn't a consensus mechanism by itself. Instead, it's a type of clock, a way of tracking time in a decentralized network. At the heart of POH is a delay function, or what's called a VDF. Think about it as a process that proves time has passed that no one can cheat or speed up. The idea is simple, but it's brilliant. You start with a piece of data called a seed. Let's say the word fish. You pass that seed through a hash function. The output becomes the input for the next hash. You repeat this process thousands or even millions of times. Each hash in the chain depends on the previous one. That means the entire process has to be done sequentially. No parallel processing, no shortcuts. Even the fastest computer in the world has to go one step at a time. Now, why does sequential hashing matter? This is important because it creates a trustless source of time. Why trustless? Because the system doesn't need a central clock. It doesn't rely on validators to agree on what time it is. Instead, it relies on pure math. Now, here's the kicker. Even though the sequence has to be generated in line, anybody can verify it quickly in parallel. That makes it easy to prove that a specific event occurred at a specific point in time, that nobody faked it. And this leads us to an important function that Solana can do, timestamping real world data. Now let's say you want to timestamp something like a tweet. You can take that tweet's data, insert it into the proof of history chain, the chain proves that the tweet existed before the next hash was created. Now, in our society, there's a lot of things that we have to prove happened before something that's independent of what time it happened. For example, with copyrights, trademarks, you have to prove that you own the trademark to something before somebody attempts to use it. It doesn't matter how much before, it just happened to, had to happen before that person had it. By submitting to the Solana blockchain, it gives you a record of when something happened without needing real-time communication between validators. That's very, very powerful. Validators don't have to argue about the order of transactions. They already know. That's why Solana can process tens of thousands of transactions per second with extremely low latency and minimal fees. In Solana's version of proof of stake, one validator is designated as the leader for a short period of time around 400 milliseconds. During this brief window, the leader is responsible for collecting transactions from the network, protecting them, and writing them to the ledger. Now, while the leader is doing all of this, the other validators aren't just sitting around doing nothing. They're not idle. 
They're verifying the leader's work, checking transactions, and voting to confirm or reject what's being proposed. Now, this system of checks and balances ensures that no single validator can manipulate the state of the network. Keep the network efficient and fast, thousands of transactions per second, Solana breaks the ledger into smaller manageable chunks. These chunks allow validators to take turns quickly and efficiently. Leadership doesn't rotate randomly. It rotates according to a schedule, meaning it follows a predictable pattern based on two key things. Number one is how much stake a validator has committed to the network. How much Solana does the validator have stake? A random seed derived from historical transaction data. This balance ensures that no one validator dominates leadership and it keeps things moving very fast. But speed is just part of the story. Solana's ecosystem is growing at an incredible pace across multiple industries. You're seeing explosive innovation in payments where instant crypto transactions are becoming the norm in gaming where low latency and high throughput make real-time blockchain experiences possible in NFTs where artists and collectors can mint and trade without paying exorbitant fees, in DeFi, where new financial products are being built faster and cheaper, and in DAOs where governance can happen at scale, in real time across massive global communities. As the Solana ecosystem expands, the value and utility of its native token continues to climb. Soul powers the entire Solana network. It's used for transaction fees, staking to secure the blockchain, and voting on governance proposals that shape Solana's future. Seoul will be the lifeblood of an entire decentralized economy. And with Solana consistently ranking among the top five blockchain ecosystems in Web3, it means transactions can be verified, ordered, and written on this blockchain faster than most networks. And it means you can trust the order of events, even if you didn't witness them in real time. This is especially important in high-frequency applications. Trading, gaming, Decentralized finance, real-time data feeds. It's very important in this and many, many more applications. Finally, throughput and trust. By combining proof of stake with proof of history, Solana achieves something that so many other blockchains cannot offer. A very, very high throughput. Solana can process tens of thousands of transactions per second. Low latency, meaning transactions can confirm in under a second trustless time, a proven, tamper-resistant history of events. This approach makes Solana especially attractive for builders who need speed, reliability, and scalability, all without sacrificing decentralization. Solana's architecture is built around two core innovations, proof of stake for validator selection and transaction validation, and proof of history for trustless timekeeping and event ordering. Together, they allow Solana to rotate validators in real time, time step and verify external data and eliminate coordination bottlenecks. And it also gives the scale to meet the needs of tomorrow's decentralized applications. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Also, content, drop a comment if you want me to talk about something else. Thank you. Have a great day.